Hey, welcome back guys. This is Beamer Merchant doing another do-it-yourself video. Today we are working on a customer's car. Uh, apparently his window regulator stopped working and the glass doesn't want to go up anymore. We'll go ahead and show you the tools we're going to use and the process that's required to remove the regulator. Now this particular model has the privacy shades. So the process is going to be a little bit different versus a vehicle with no shades on it. In this case here, the tool we're gonna use is this Phillips, long end here. Husky, which we started using already. We're gonna be dealing with this type of regulator. These regulators were common on the 2000 to 2003 models. Uh, prior to that, these were uh, 96 to halfway of 99. Okay. Since this door has the privacy shade, we need to remove the wood trim, which we did already. Pretty simple process. Behind the trim is just uh, clips, and you pop them out. We're gonna go ahead and show you where the screws are in this panel. It's one here, another one here to your right, three behind the cover for the quarter shade, one behind the door handle, we missed one screw, which was right there. Okay, screws have been removed. Now we're prying the panel out. Once you got those, those uh, clips out on the bottom, you can go ahead and take your hand and just pull them out or just proceed with the uh, Husky all around it. Now when you remove the panel, lift up. Try doing it from here first. When you're pulling this here, be careful. Gently. Okay, once you, uh, you manage to pry the panel off, you're gonna see all these uh, connectors. Disconnect them, that's for the speaker. That connector for the uh, window. There's gonna be one more down there for the light. All right, this is how the door looks without the uh, door panel. Let's proceed to remove this foam. All right, so now once that foam, sound barrier foam is out, gives you a better access to the glass here. Now the customers See, I can actually go ahead and lift it up. It's broken. I'm going to go ahead and remove this Torx here. And we're going to slide. You need to slide the glass out before we can actually remove the regulator. We're going to use a T30 to remove this uh, bolt. Okay. In order to remove the glass, uh, we need to go ahead and remove part of the weather strip off as is. That will give the glass enough space to, uh, to come out. All right, so once you remove the weather strip, bring it all the way up here. This trim here has to come out, and the way we do it is we slide it up like this, and then the glass comes out. With the glass out of the way, we can now um, reach the torxes. See, there's one right there. Apparently, this regulator has never been changed because it still has the layer of foam here, or plastic layer. So go ahead and get that Torx and then on the bottom it's two tens holding the bottom end in place. Two right there. The two I recommend that's going to make the job easier is this type of tool here, the close end wrench. These necessarily don't always have to come all the way off. You're just kind of ma making them loose so this will end up coming up once you take off the top torques. And that's a T25? Yeah. Unplug the connector there by pinching on the sides. Okay, now once it's loose, it's really just a, maneuver, a maneuvering process to take it out. Let's 
So basically here, the metal wiring has a cover here, um, but this metal wire here goes around this plastic wheel, and this is what spins to make your window go up and down. Looks like it came off here and then it exposed all the, uh, the metal covering here to the wire. This plastic tab looks like it's not doing too well. Down here too, you can see part of the, this uh, red clip is supposed to be up here. All right guys, this is how you remove a window regulator out of a BMW 528 model. Any questions, contact us. Or if you need regulators for your BMW parts, visit our website posted below. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Take care.